Amazon Inspector is an automated vulnerability management service. It continuously evaluates your AWS workloads for software vulnerabilities and unintended network exposure. In this video, we will show how you can use Amazon Inspector to identify vulnerabilities in your AWS Lambda functions and associated package dependencies. Now we have a lot of great information to share with you. As we get started, we'll first provide you some foundational information about Inspector Lambda scanning. We'll talk about the AWS shared responsibility model so that you better understand the capabilities provided by Inspector versus those security tasks you are responsible for as an Inspector user. We'll then discuss how Inspector Lambda scanning works at a high level. Next, we'll show you how to activate Lambda scanning from the Inspector console. We'll then show you how to review Inspector's Lambda scan coverage and status. And finally, we'll show how you can review Inspector vulnerability findings in detail. So at the end of this video, you will be ready to scan your Lambda workloads with Amazon Inspector. As an Inspector user, it is important to understand your security and compliance responsibilities and how those relate to the security features and services provided by AWS. Now, when we're discussing the shared responsibility model, there are essentially two key takeaways. The first is AWS is responsible for security of the cloud. This means that AWS manages security of all components from the host operating system and virtualization layer down to the physical security of the facilities in which the service operates. The second key takeaway is you, as an AWS user, are responsible for security in the cloud. This means you assume responsibility for the guest operating system, application software, and user configuration of AWS services. So how does this affect Amazon Inspector and Lambda scanning? Essentially, you are responsible for the security of the function code and libraries you deploy to the Lambda service. Additionally, you are responsible for managing your identity and access management policies and configuring your resources to include updating packages and applying security updates. Now, by comparison, Amazon Inspector is responsible for automatically discovering and scanning eligible Lambda functions plus package dependencies. This means that Inspector can help you identify traditional CVE vulnerabilities in your Lambda functions and layers. I'll also share with you that in some cases, Inspector can also identify vulnerabilities for which a CVE record does not exist. For example, We've seen Inspector identify a Lambda function that was importing a rogue Python package that was modified to steal credentials. In this case, a CVE record did not exist for this Python package, but because Inspector maintains a robust vulnerability database, it was able to detect the malicious Python package anyways. So there is more to the AWS shared responsibility model than what we've covered here. If you would like to learn more, feel free to visit our documentation at the link below. Let's now talk about how Inspector Lambda scans work. Essentially, Inspector identifies software vulnerabilities in application package dependencies used in your Lambda function code and associated Lambda layers. Activating Inspector Lambda scanning is simple with one-click enablement and multi-account support using AWS organizations. We'll show you how to do this momentarily. Once Inspector Lambda scanning is activated, it will automatically discover and continuously scan your Lambda functions for vulnerabilities. I'll point out that vulnerability scans are intelligently triggered based on updates to the Lambda function or when new CVEs are published. Now, as Inspector identifies vulnerabilities, it provides detailed finding information including risk scores and fixed package versions to help you prioritize and remediate accordingly. Inspector also supports automated workflows through its integration with Amazon EventBridge. Now there's one last thing to be aware of. Inspector automatically excludes Lambda functions that have not been invoked in the last 90 days. This is done so that stale or unused functions do not get scanned as this would likely create unwanted findings and noise. If you later invoke a stale Lambda function, 
Inspector will automatically detect it as active and resume vulnerability scanning. Finally, Inspector also supports tag-based exclusions if you want to suppress findings for one or more Lambda functions. In this section, we will demonstrate how to activate Lambda scanning from the Inspector console. Now, we'll show how to activate Lambda scanning both from the perspective of a new Inspector user and also an existing Inspector user as the process is slightly different for each situation. We'll begin by navigating to the Inspector homepage from the AWS console. I'll go to the search bar and type in Inspector, and then we could just select the Amazon Inspector link. So we're now on the Amazon Inspector homepage. Now, if you are a new user, you'll see that Inspector is not presently activated. We can easily activate Inspector by first clicking the sidebar and then select Activate Inspector. Once again, we'll click the Activate Inspector button. It may take a few moments, but eventually you should see a status message confirming success. And we see that here. Now, when you activate Inspector in this manner, it automatically turns on scanning for all supported workloads, including Lambda scanning. You can confirm this by navigating to the Account Management page from the Inspector sidebar. Notice that all supported scan types are listed as activated. So that is how new Inspector users activate both Inspector and Lambda scanning. Now, if you are a current Inspector user, the process for activating Lambda scanning is slightly different. First, you'll want to navigate to the Inspector homepage. From the Inspector homepage, we'll select Account Management in the Inspector sidebar. And from the Account Management page, simply select the accounts for which you would like to enable Lambda scanning. I'll just select these first two. Next, select the Activate button, and finally select AWS Lambda Standard Scanning. It may take a moment, but eventually you will receive a confirmation message indicating success. And we see that here. If at any time you need to disable any of these scans, simply select the account for which you would like to change, then select Actions, and then select the scan type you would like to disable. Now that we've activated Lambda scanning, Inspector will automatically discover and scan eligible functions that you have deployed to the Lambda service. We can view summarized coverage and finding information from the Inspector dashboard. Notice here we can see that Inspector is scanning 5 out of 5 or 100% of our available Lambda functions. We can also see that Inspector has identified 10 vulnerabilities in our Lambda functions, three of which are critical. Now you can view additional details about your Lambda functions from Inspector's account management page. I'll go ahead and navigate there. And then we'll select the Lambda tab. Here you can see the Lambda function name, the associated AWS account, the function runtime, status, and any resource tags you may have applied. Notice that the current status reports actively monitoring, meaning Inspector is monitoring the Lambda functions for vulnerabilities. So now we understand how to view Inspector's summarized coverage and status, Let's now explore how to view detailed vulnerability findings. To view Inspector's Lambda findings, simply select by Lambda function from the Inspector sidebar. Here you will see a summarized view of the findings for each Lambda function. To view the findings in detail, select the function name that you would like to review. On this screen, you'll see detailed information about vulnerabilities detected in this Lambda function. We can see that Inspector has identified two vulnerabilities, one critical and one medium. You can view detailed information for each finding by selecting the vulnerability title like so. In the Findings pane, you'll see pertinent information such as a high-level description of the vulnerability. You'll also see the Findings Overview, which tells us that a fix is available and no exploit code is available for this CVE 
as of the time of this recording. You can also see information related to the affected packages, such as the package name, the package version in use by the Lambda function, as well as the fixed version. We also see the associated package manager, pip in this case. And finally, we see the file path where this vulnerable package was identified, which in this case is a Python requirements.txt file. If we scroll down further, we'll see guidance for remediating this vulnerability, additional vulnerability details, resources affected, and layers used. If we scroll back to the top and select inspector score, we'll see severity score information for this vulnerability. One last thing I'll point out before we move on. Sometimes you'll find that inspector reports a vulnerability that you would prefer to suppress. For these situations, you can create a suppression rule. And if you'd like specific instruction on how to do so, I would invite you to see our video tutorial located here. And this is the video for creating suppression rules. Okay, so that brings us to the conclusion. During this video, we showed you how to activate inspector for Lambda workloads view coverage and status, and how to review vulnerability findings in detail. With these skills, you are now ready to monitor your Lambda functions with Amazon Inspector. Now there is more to Inspector than what we covered in this video. If you would like to learn more, we invite you to see our online documentation. And finally, if you are a new Inspector user, please feel encouraged to start your free 15-day trial using the link below. So that concludes this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you on AWS.